You can only get perfect in that game, obviously. Huh. Swingles man's back. Oh no. To horrify us. <laughs> it's, it's a lot worse when it's on my television. Yeah, it is actually. Chile. Oh, and Coco. Let's right. do Coco. Yeah, well. Oh, Coco, Coco. We're going to. What? Because we've got to make some some of the French jokes. Ah, oh, yes. The French Cokes. Coco Cola. Remember Knox? Knox? The claymation guy. Oh, yes! I just built my Coco Cola! <laughs> I can't reach my Coco Cola! Look at that girl twerk. You don't need to, we have 50 bucks. I believe. Maybe you need 50 bucks more. Oh, that's, a, that's an expensive hoe. <laughs> oh. A reasonably expensive hoe. I don't know what rates hoes are going for these days. I've never really looked into it. I don't think we've visited the dirty streets yet. Because we haven't done Bazaar Bar. Bazaar? Oh, yes. There's actually a whole heap of side quests that you can only do in each stage. That we've skipped over. Because if we did them, it would take us for fucking ever. That means we're not giving our good audience a full scope of the game we're trying to show off. Yeah, but no one wants to watch 100% Let's Plays. <laughs> they get a bit tedious, I believe. Hey, Coco. Coco. Uh -huh -huh. One day dating a clown. I know I have. This will be interesting. Damn martinis. <laughs> Oh shit. What's that do? Froze my sperm so I couldn't move it. Stop drinking so much, Larry. Oh fucking hell. Larry has a Grudge against clowns as well. <laughs> are as many people afraid of clowns as people who claim to be afraid of clowns? I believe so. I believe they're a quite common fear. They are quite horrifying. I love clowns. Frickin' love clowns! Of course you do, you're a juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> of course you love clowns. You don't understand, because... Not that I'm afraid of clowns, but I'm, I don't think you're the most... Like clowns bias. are my spirit animal. You can't have clowns as a spirit animal. Too bad. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about anymore. <laughs> I'm too busy being so fucking full over drunk that I can't play this video game. Oh. No. Ugh, got it. No. No. Is this because you're drunk? Yeah, it's because I'm drunk. I can't actually see. No movement. Uh. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I stuffed that up because I was showing Claire the effects of being drunk and the fact that the sperm doesn't move. What like, when I'm this drunk, I, I hold a direction and it takes three seconds to just start moving in that direction. Uh. So at this point, unless I'm already in the lane, I can't get them. I'm too drunk. What, what if I were a super We have to start this again. What if I were a superhero and instead of a monster- Oh, what? No, no, what? no. What? That quit the whole game. Oh, no. I thought that was just going to quit the conversation. That's not good. Why did I- We didn't save! What? Well. Well. <sighs> looks like we're doing this again. Yay. 
Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna do Ioni and Bazaba this time. Okay. At, least, at least this time around, we can get some different, you know, footage, I guess. We <laughs> Fat Sam's Titty City. You can't so, spell titty without titty city. <laughs> so, where are we going from? We're going. We're, going, we're one stage back now. We're not that far back. We just need to do two girls. And welcome again. Just, no, we'll um, we'll we'll, we'll air, air all of that. We'll air it. Well, yeah, we'll air it. <laughs> we might as well. Okay. Cause it's con, it's content. At least this way they can get more of the girls. Shit, I can't believe that. Uh. So we're doing Ioni. This is a really easy conversation. It's the reason why I'm doing Ioni, because I can just blow right through this. Your cake joke was funny. Yeah. I'm not very interesting. <laughs> I am an English lit student. Doing our Oni now um, leads us to another Ioni one later on. Yeah, you get to have another shot at her. I think it's the next one over. We might actually already be at the stage where we can't do it again. But we might not. I don't know. Who shall be revealed? Assistant D. Mabudsum. The most hated man on campus, oh. at least by Larry's standards. <laughs> in case you didn't notice, other people at home are too busy listening to us or something. Um, his cognac, he doesn't have it anymore. Oh. Because um, Larry prank called his wife and told him to throw out all his alcohol. Oh. Um, he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> Colin Barnett.jpg. <laughs> I'm going to tear up the whole Perth Force, <laughs> the entire front of Perth, and put a big boating club there. Have you have you heard about that plan? I've seen the um, pictures. I thought there was gonna be like a water slide and shit. Is there? I don't think there is. Maybe that's just what the I The water slide to see. is a lie. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you really want a water slide into the Swan River. It's full of jellyfish. That's what I was thinking. I don't think they're going to. They're going to let you go because there are sharks in the Swan River. There are jellyfish. Occasionally. Lots and lots and lots of jellyfish. And occasionally dolphins. But it's just stupid. Why would you tear up that whole front area? It looks pretty nice, you know. People really like boats. But we... Fucking boat owners. Boating areas. Ben's a boat owner. Yeah. Why won't he spread his boat around? He said he's willing to take us out, but he can't take all of us at once, because there's like a limit on how many people you can get on his boat legally. Thanks, Uncle Larry, for magically tracking down that bottle of cognac for us. Well, some of us can go on the boat and the rest can go for ice cream. Then we'll switch over. Ben doesn't get any ice cream. <laughs> ben should get twice the ice cream. He's the one driving the boat. Yeah, but he's driving the boat while everyone's getting ice cream. Maybe we can drive the boat. <laughs> Just take a break, Ben. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be alright. We'll work it out. And that will be the start of a whole new adventure. <laughs> And he he wakes up and we're like at, at sea somehow. <laughs> it's like, how did we leave? How did we leave this one river? You're never gonna believe this, man. <laughs> but mermaids did it, <laughs> and not the good mermaids, the ones with fish heads and man legs. <laughs> they had massive fish arm muscles. 
they dragged the boat out to the, the sea and they stole all of your ice cream and ate it and <laughs> smeared the ice cream around our faces to make it look like we ate it. <laughs> I can just imagine us though, going out on a boat and then losing the, like running out of fuel halfway through. Because what do you do in that situation? There he is. It's Commissar. He has the... What you, running out of fuel. Yeah. You send out an SOS and the Coast Guard comes to get to you. Can you hear me, darling? Can you hear the SOS? So pretty much, Connoisseur has stuff. He's like, oh, I've got the, the bottle of cognac. But you got to lead a Zumba class. <laughs> it's Indian Zumba class. Oh, that's fast. Yeah. But this is the first, like, this is a, at the very beginning this should have been. So it's really easy. Comparatively. Though I think it's harder because it's later on. Like, it seems to have actually got harder. Right. Down, down, left. Oh, what? I got that right. Nope. I got those last two right, though. Same direction. This oh. game seems to be a bent on... On making us suffer, yeah, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Alright. You got the cognac by wimping out. Big wimp. Big fucking wimp. Sally Mae. Look, look how derp that face in the <laughs> background looks. That is pretty dope. She's like, oh, um. <laughs> Where's that you got your hand, mister? <laughs> Looks like camera. <laughs> I like cameras. <laughs> Derp. No, you use your fancy mathematics. <laughs> There's actually stats to tell me how many times I've farted. You must smell really bad. Must. But I don't. Because all these hot chicks are picking me up, and I'm like, awesome, all these hot chicks. Maybe there's a cold going around, so they've got buck noses. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh, I can't believe we lost all that stuff. We've got to remember to save after every girl, okay? Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck did she go? Uh, uh, maybe she's in a room. Oh, yeah, she is. Salamore. Free BJs. But yeah, Charlotte is possibly the least interesting. I think anyway. I don't think she's actually on our list to do. I don't think you can you can do her until you've done the professor. Because you have to have experience with the monkey before. Because oh. she wants you to bust the monkey out, that's her whole story. And it ends badly. For you. <laughs> then again, a lot of stuff ends badly for us, so... Yeah, what's the difference between winning and losing in this game? Sex or no sex. But most of the time, even when you supposedly win, you don't get sex. You get... You get triple F minuses. <laughs> a grade so bad it prevents you from passing. <laughs> Graduating any other unit. <laughs> It's been a while since we've been here. We see we can now go into Luba and Ioni's room. Charlotte's oh, Luba and Ioni live together. Yeah, they do. That's the <laughs> that's a joke. Charlotte's also the least hot, in my opinion. She has nothing except maybe Ioni, but she has the least interesting to her. She's just a skinny chick and I'm like, oh. What, Leonie or Charlotte? Charlotte. She's just a skinny chick with like dirt on her because she's like an activist. While I'm here, there's probably some things I can love her for. See, Luba's side, Ioni's side. Luba's side, Ioni's side. <laughs> 
If Kane noticed this, they're trying to make some kind of point with their, about their personalities here. Yes. Some kind of comical... Statement about the different types of personalities one may encounter yeah. in college life. You see that teddy bear? Yeah. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing? Yes. Of course she is. Feminist poetry. Lol. Oh, we should put that on Tumblr. That was pretty good. That was really good, yeah. I wrote it while I was watching Saturday morning cartoons when I was nine. You know any publishers? I've been having a hell of a time trying to get it in print. What was your father? Was he a rebellion? Can you throw him in the Nah, he's cool most of the time, really. He's one of those guys, doesn't get angry very often, but... But when he does, he hires a seven-foot-tall transvestite whore. <laughs> What even is a pan flute? It's um, you know those, the the Pole Hill tribe things. It's the one, the flute with the small, small piece of wood at one end and the bigger the other, and then like there's pieces of wood that kind of bigger and smaller to get to the middle. So it's like a, ah, uh, can't describe it on microphone. It's like this wood, this wood, this wood. This wood. I'm envisioning yeah. a very strange looking instrument. <laughs> And then there's hollow tubes and you blow into them like Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, there we go. You got it.